Hey, this is Good Names, and welcome back to the Daily Advice. So, I'm going to show you how to break through these doors. I've always set them up. That one's still as broken as ever, and I had to rehire that stupid block of wood. Yeah. So, let's say we're an invader. We can kind of walk through this. We can't, can't hit the lever. Sadly, sadly, that would have been so easy. So, what we do, take out a hammer and smash down the wall. Down the wall, down the wall. Thank you. So, it's a wall is as strong as its weakest weakest point, <laughs> or you can just vaporize it. That's the same. But we're looking at the doors. So this one's made out of wood. How far are these beams? Oh no, I think we are using fives, five by ones, going horizontally. So these should shatter. If I hit the top of it, it should shatter down, and then I can just walk through it. Let's test that. Back to the top. Oh, I, th I hit the frame. That's nice. Security system. So I hit the side, the top on that side. It all just breaks. Ooh, but because it broke and then fell down, it actually blocked my way for a little bit longer. Didn't forever, but still. Work in progress. Delete all of those. Some debris that you could use later. Yeah, hopefully you'll be able to scavenge stuff. Ooh, if they make paper, you could probably take scrap from wood and just turn it into pulp. But now on to the weights. So this is probably the easiest one to destroy. Oh, actually, it takes a while to hit down. So besides this and possibly using a wall for a door, such that you Use the J key and put down a wall at the same time. Not KJ, thank you. Just kidding. <laughs> so, scroll it in. And if you find a way to use that as a door without it breaking, good for you, because you've probably found the most indestructible door there is. Delete all. Yeah. Plop. Standing on it. So now back, back to breaking down this door. So looks like when we hit, it's a two by two square. Probably about that. Yeah, only takes down one at a time. So can I get through? No, because this door is swinging from the side. Oh, I'd probably, you could probably make a system all just, when you knock something down, it just falls on you, falls on your enemy, and then kills them. Then they'll have to respawn and walk the way whole way back which I guess with barbarians when they come in groups won't be as handy but as you can see I am through the door and then I can just scroll it up for everyone else who's passing by or not bye bye you dead yay so now on to the last one and showing off how you actually need this scroll wheel scroll wheel wow yay ah uh, the scroll wheel kind of far away See, I can almost get myself through there. Yay! Whoa. Not as secure. You're fired. Again. Thank you. So, I guess switching over to the secondary lock. Yeah, that will be locked. So, ideally, that would work if my physics didn't overload it. And characters actually have an infinite amount of friction to them. So, you can push through nearly anything. This one's kind of locked. So if your door was actually going purely off of this latch, eh, good work. Can't actually select it to change it. Let's see. Can I get it to? Oh, oh, oh. Yes, debuffed. Yes, so don't be using this door. Or at least move your hinge out. Or a whole lot of things. You could do a whole lot of doors, a whole lot of different systems, and that's practically the basis of medieval engineers. Do anything with what they've got. So, that's it for this daily advice as the walls come tumbling down. And I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, sounds good. So once again, thanks for watching this daily advice. As usual, there will be another one out tomorrow. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did indeed like this advice. If you do have any suggestions on advice or something you would like me to look into, please do add that in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one.